the other way. But guess who's there? The second chance down low for Stanford. And they just come in waves. Another turnover, almost. Oh my goodness! The passing. Hold your breath. Malaya Hines able to settle it down, and a blocking foul. Eight turnovers in this first quarter. East Columbus. That's going to be a hard recipe to win. As a couple of substitutes will come in, including Daisy Four Killer Raby. She's a great scorer off the bench. Ten points a game. Well, the Gators. They just have to maintain their composure, especially early on with this atmosphere so much on the line. Just try to get through the first couple minutes this first quarter, but you got, cannot allow this huge lead to linger. You've got to cut into it here and have good offensive sets. My apologies to Yossi for Killer Raby, but such a special shooter. Now Hines operates 1v1. She kicked it and the ninth turnover. Look at the outlet pass. Ward ahead. Swimmer, no. Second chance. Oh, Swimmer tries it again. Dadaya Swimmer's feeling it. When you're hot, you're hot. And Swimmer's making things ice cold for the Gators' offense. And that's an over and back. What have the Lady Braves done so well defensively? Well, the first thing is you have to be in excellent condition. They are. They are not slowing down on either end of the court, playing at full speed. Once there's a made shot, they go back to work on the defensive end looking for more. Third ever appearance in a state final for Cherokee, and they want to turn the clock back to 96. A year they went 22 and 7, won the championship. Keith Penix was the coach at the time, and was fantastic back in the day. Or Killer Raby swings it. Active hands and Malia Graham's the difference maker. If she can slow down Stamper, that gives Columbus a great chance. The two of the best young players in the state, post players in Stamper, Malia Graham, guarding each other. Those two really working, battling for position. East Columbus from Lake Waccamaw, North Carolina, just outside of the Wilmington area. A very scrappy bunch and a foul on the drive sends Swimmer to the line. These two teams are nearly on the opposite sides of the state, east and west, and they're grinding it out in this first quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice look here from the quickness of Swimmer to get baseline to get to the line. There's a miss on the Riddle and Brantley free throw. Riddle and Brantley injured in an accident called Riddle and Brantley when justice counts. Can I call them in the fourth quarter when the game's close for the free throw? <laughs> Riddle and Brantley, always good friends here to help us out. We've seen two great championship games. Wilson Prep in the 1A men, taking down Corvian Community. And then Wes Rowan, two-time champions. They hold off Terry Sanford for the win in the 3A. And more active hands. These Cherokee Lady Braves have been everywhere defensively. This time, East Columbus breaks the press. They had a tough overtime win over Gates County just to get to a region final. A tough look from the corner, and that hits. Big bucket for Destiny Mitchell, the captain. More active hands. Stamper's in trouble, and she's fouled. Stamper is a freshman. She's able to handle that pressure so well. She protects the ball, keeps it high. And the Gators trying to set up a double team to seal things off there to get a turnover, but they got the foul call. Another substitute. That's yeah, Kyla Moore yeah, will come in for Cherokee, and then China Patrick will re-enter for East Columbus. She scored 24 in that overtime win over Gates County. That would have been a huge upset for the number three seed in the East. Extra pass, and Moore comes right in to score. Oh, there's a chemistry to their offensive game with those extra passes keeping their eyes up, finding open looks. Hines looking to break the press. It has been a bit helter-skelter. Ten first-quarter turnovers. Latoya Brown, who played in college as a point guard, she knows how to handle these moments. Who touched that last? Okay, it'll stay here. In comes one of my favorite names on this Cherokee roster, Awi Walking Stick, a three-point arsonist. She's also the all-academic selection for the Cherokee program. They honored those women pregame. Such a neat moment. 
That look is blocked, but hold on, a foul. And that sends Destiny Mitchell to the line. Mitchell this year, 58% from the free throw line as she gears up for this Riddle and Brantley free throw. Because right now, if you're East Columbus, you want to keep this within 10 of this first quarter. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got to say, hey, listen, first couple minutes, we made some mistakes, but let's regroup. Protecting the basketball has to be the number one key. You've got to protect you, give yourself more shot opportunities. Well, Killer Raby finds her freshman forward. That's no good. Oh, look at the effort into the stands. I would catch her if she came our way. <laughs> That's for sure. Got to love the fight in this 1A Women's Championship with Jason Halter. I'm Evan Budrovich. First ever appearance in the finals for East Columbus out of Lake Waccamaw, North Carolina. And a tough pass leads to a turnover. Cherokee 196 miles from Winston-Salem, but they are well represented tonight. Here's Aaliyah Rogers fresh into the game. The freshman guard. What a pass! And her freshman forward has it. You gotta love the ball moving to Cherokee. Just excellent work there. And again, putting pressure on the defense. Double teams comes up and you find your open teammate. That time able to break the press was Mitchell. She's electric with the ball in her hands and a block for four killer Raby. Intercepted by Hines. Another loose poke. And that time a foul on Rogers. A lot of emotion here in this first quarter, Jay. And it's carrying Cherokee. They're playing off of that emotion. And East Columbus gets the turnover here. And just those active hands, the foul goes against the Braves, but. And if you're Malayla Hines, it's been so challenging. I can sense her frustration, like, I'm trying to work through this and get through this press. It's not easy. It's relenting. This, it's relentless, this defense. I mean, it comes at you in waves. You just have to slow down and pass the ball up the court and make sure you keep your spacing. If you get tight, that's when the defense can come in and double team you. This is a three-year starting guard, Malaya Hines. Arguably one of the biggest environments she's ever played in. 5,000 plus here tonight, and maybe more, as they keep filing in. Second free throw for Hines. I love both crowds going back yeah. and forth here in this first quarter. I mean, for these players, what an awesome opportunity to play here at Wake Forest in this environment. That'll go out of bounds. This to be your reward for a great season. So you know, championship on the line, but this is a you know, this is a game you'll always remember and a chance to do something special. Cherokee's first appearance since 98. East Columbus has never made a state final. This is a huge moment for the program. Extra passing for Moore. Moore is then doubled. And hold on. She lost it. I love the activity of Kaylee Mitchell. She's a great defender. Moving her feet, staying low on the defensive end, and that's how the Gators have to come back. Great turnovers turn up their pressure. East Columbus with 12 first quarter turnovers and a grind here against a well represented Cherokee team. Good pick and pop to Graham. Nice extra pass, and Patrick is there. That's how you break down a good zone. Yeah, go north and south, attack it head on. Nice dish. Dadiah Swimmer swings it. Here's a three. Four killer Raby is off. Little pinball drill. More. Off to seven. Swimmer penetrates and misses. Second chance. Moore is right there. Offensive glass, the story of this first quarter for the Cherokee Lady Braves. Lady Braves getting all the loose balls, playing with the motion, creating turnovers. Have a big lead to start things off. Eight second chance points for the Lady Braves. They're up 12 through one in this West Shore Homes 1A state championship. NC Medicaid is for more people like me. Adults who don't have children. People who serve. 
people who do the heavy lifting. Child care teachers. Full health care coverage at low or no cost. Doctor's visits, emergency rooms, and prescriptions. So if you applied before and didn't get it, apply again. NC Medicaid covers more people than ever before. NC Medicaid is for more people. See if you qualify at medicaid.nc.gov. Here are your law offices of Roderick Todd McIver stats in the first quarter. Only four shot attempts because of the 12 East Columbus turnovers. And that's the story of the game, Evan. The turnovers have resulted in very few opportunities to score the basketball. Cherokee is taking advantage of it with already 18 shots and six free throw attempts. That's allowed Cherokee to attack the bucket in our Piedmont Federal Bank. Points in the paint, plus 10 for the Lady Braves, who are up 12 to start this second quarter. If Grace Columbus ball security must have been a huge part of Latoya Brown's conversation. You hear the war chants of the Cherokee Nation here in attendance and another turnover. That's 13 giveaways. And it's just been too much to overcome and, and honestly only down by 12 points. You know, they're able to hang in it with all these turnovers, but they've got to clean it up and they've got to be the aggressor and start turning the Braves over. Swimmer. Great move, but she traveled first. This is an East Columbus program that's been on a major uprise. They had an 0-6 record in the COVID year, but are now in a state final two years later. Such resolve from Coach Latoya Brown's club. Hines is pressured and a steal for Stanford. She throws the quarterback streaking route, and the pass is incomplete. Second down. I know there was an incompletion in football terms there, but still the effort, the double team coming over, you get the turnover, and then you're looking for the fast break opportunity. They didn't execute, but you like the style that they're playing with. Another steal for the Lady Braves. Arch swings it down low, and a nice look for Diazi for Killer Raby. The, the biggest difference when you just look out on the court the Lady Braves are in attack mode. The Gators have to have that same look. It still looks like they're reacting, trying to find a flow to their game. On the opposite end, though, Cherokee is taking it to them. They've got to find a way to fight back. Kaylee Mitchell, the heart and soul of this East Columbus program, gets in the lane. Nice look, and Mitchell is blocked. Second chance there. Good finish for Graham. And that's exactly what I'm looking for, is those second chance, those scrap points, hustling for the ball. Swimmer on the shot fake. It rattles out. There is a turnover for the Lady Braves, but they have dominated Jay on the offensive glass, plus 10 on second chances. They're just crashing the boards, hustling, and getting in position to get those extra opportunities. Layla Hines 
And this East Columbus team having trouble with the press today. 14 turnovers. That's a good press break, but a miss from three. Gators came into this game making almost seven threes a game. They'll need to find some of that tonight. The Toya Browns Club 0 3 from deep. And they've only attempted eight shots. Haven't had a ton of looks offensively. And then a turnover right back. Nice hands, Jay. Good pass, my friend. I thought you were going to shoot it like Troy Bolton in high school music. You got to stay ready. You got to get your head in the game. <laughs> As four killer Raby will sub out for the Lady Braves. With Jason Halter, I'm Evan Budrovich. Great crew. Got you covered all week these next two days. This is the 1A Women's Championship. Cherokee has not won a state title since 96. East Columbus has never been to a final, and that's an illegal screen on the substitute Riley Graham, the junior. Just setting up for a pick. That's a tough one. Yeah, and it looked like. There's a lot of contact both ways. Graham kind of got pushed by the arm. So Graham will sub out with her second foul. And that means Kaylee Mitchell has to come right back in. Swimmer's been electric for the Lady Braves today. She has seven. Here's the three. Oh, this place is about to go wild. Stamper is there. No. And now a foul. It's a flagrant foul on Cherokee. Contact after the whistle by Loshi Ward. the free throws here for East Columbus. I think the reaction certainly drew right. a lot of, it wasn't necessarily a physical play, but how she spun out of that. But remember, no replay in high school basketball. You're just seeing the replays here on the broadcast, and the folks in the building are seeing the replays. So an opportunity for the Gators to use this as a spark. The call goes their way. Can you take advantage of it? Aaliyah Rogers could not hit the Carolina Hurricanes free throw. Go to hurricanes.com slash tickets to be a part of the action. Second attempt here for Mitchell. And unfortunately for East Columbus, that's five missed free throws today. Well, we talked at the beginning of the second quarter. What adjustments do they have to make? Well, they've gotten five turnovers from Cherokee in the second quarter. It hasn't really shown on the scoreboard doing a better job on the defense end, but they've got to take advantage of the opportunities they're given. You can tell East Columbus struggling with the pressure in this game. Had 30 turnovers in the region final and a deep three is off. Offensive board for Graham. Nice look. That's no good. Rebound rolls over the backboard and a miss for China Patrick. That didn't result in points, but I like the shot selection, the patience moving the ball around and getting a good look. They just have to continue to have those types of possessions. Lady Braves on this end shooting 40 percent and they've capitalized on 15 turnovers. Great dime down low and Stamper's having a field day down there. Ten points. Yeah, they're giving her touches down on the block and she's executing, getting in position and ready for the ball. East Columbus has had no answer for the post play. So then this drive is no good. Patrick draws the foul. Looks like everyone's okay as the goggles came off of Patrick. Good sportsmanship there from Stamper, handing them over. Carolina Hurricanes free throws, three of eight today for East Columbus. So six missed free throws. East Columbus shot 11 to 13 in the region final. That was their strength in a tough win over Bladen. And 
And now our first action for Shamaya Johnson, the junior forward. She's only averaged five minutes a game in the playoffs, but they'll need her toughness down there guarding Stamper. Number 21, Shamaya Johnson, Braves. Great ball movement by the Lady Braves. So Rogers attacks and a miss. Nice hustle for the board for Graham, who's a three-sport athlete. Soccer, hoops, and volleyball. She's tremendous. Hines guarded tightly. Hines splits it, and a miss. Stamper the board. And we have a whistle. Shamaya Johnson got her hand caught in the cookie jar there for the foul. Stamper with that board. Already 10 points and four rebounds for the six foot two freshman. I think we'll be saying that name for a few more years in these state tournaments. She's outstanding. Her potential, she's already dominant. Just think about the next few years, her continued growth development. Was named first team all conference in the Big Smoky Mountain Conference of 1A hoops. The three is off. And a nice defensive board for Johnson. Hines on the run. This is where she's special. The Gators are struggling to set up offense. 15 turnovers today. Mitchell's been the defense beater so far. And another turnover. Stamper throws the Hail Mary. It's caught. The deflection is in. Caught the fumble. Ruski and a touchdown. Yeah, and when Stamper gets that ball, everybody's running up the court looking for the fast break. Listen to this crowd in the Joel. Timeout. East Columbus, and it's our CR legal team fast break. And they're playing fast, looking up the court. Stamper gets it to her teammates, Rogers, with the finish. CR legal team. CR passion. CR experience. CR values. CR impact. CR results. If you've been the victim of a serious accident, trust CR Legal Team to stand up for you. CR Legal Team. Commitment results. Call 888 the team. Coming up in the second half, our 988 Suicide and Crisis Prevention Hotline play of the game. That's the first big one. Then, of course, our West Shore Home player of the game. West Shore Home. Bath remodeling made easy. And so far, the true freshmen have put on a show here. What a nice night for Jocelyn Stamp. Yeah, she's been dominant and been in the ball game all throughout here, of course, on the offense and defensive end. Helping her club be up 15. There's a miss for Malia Graham. And now a steal. Graham has it back. That's a bucket East Columbus needs. They've got to get Graham going. Got six points so far in the game. In the contact and a foul on Graham. So free throws here for the Lady Braves. You see Ann Garner, who spent 20 years in South Carolina, made multiple NCAA tournaments. She's now in her third year coaching this team. And it's been a fun journey from 16 wins to 26. Now, of course, a win away from the state title. She said the turning point early in the year. They started off strong, but a loss in the third game of the season really brought this group together. They haven't lost since. Now in transition. What a save behind the back. And a loose ball. Here come the Lady Braves to Rogers. Rogers has it stripped by Hines. Back and forth we go. Hines turn. And she loses it. 
Ball security, a big conversation here at halftime. Yeah, Latoya Brown talking through it with her guards here how to handle this pressure. And the difficult part is the Lady Braves can sell out on the press because if they get beat, they have Stamper protecting the hoop. The last possession there on the fast break opportunity is 2 on one but they couldn't convert because of how active Stamper is. Swimmer off on the three. Here comes Hines. This is where she's special. Hines drives. Can't finish the layup. Tough dribble there from Loshi Ward. And she lost it. Her reaction's one of those emojis where your mouth's wide open and your hands cover your face. She wanted that call. Instead, we hit the final two minutes of this first half. East Columbus only shooting. Hands for Swimmer to the bucket. Got it. Give and go. It's been turnovers all night. Yeah, just manufacturing possessions with how active they are the defensive end setting right back up for the press another tussle and a jump ball should give possession to the lady braves okay it does their pressure is relentless here is double team comes over swimmer just swipes it and then creates space for an easy layup Stay tuned for the Popeyes halftime report. We'll have an interview with Q Tucker, the commissioner. First half highlights and more. Popeyes love that chicken and Popeyes. We have a blocking foul here on Shamaya Johnson. Fouls are actually dead even, seven apiece, but it's been turnovers. The big difference is now China Patrick comes back in. And Cherokee's converted 19 points off turnovers, where the Gators have only gotten five. So. 14 point swing because of turnovers. Extra passing for Swimmer. She goes into the Sharks' den and the Gators come out with it. Now it's Hines. Nifty finish. One on three. That Gator's got some bite for the N1. No hesitation at all by Hines. Going coast to coast, taking it all the way in being aggressive, looking for the contact, putting the team on her shoulders. Really, three on one, just floats right by everybody. And the story from Finding Nemo would say, just keep swimming. She is pushing through the lane, but can't hit the, the free throw. Now they got to get back defensively. Two on one. Jumper in transition, no good. Second chance, Rogers rolls out. And that time, a good board from Patrick. Become a fast paced game. Here's Graham. Euro step. No. They're in the final minute of the first half. Lady Braves are led all the way. Loose scrum. Rogers again. No. Last touch by East Columbus. Well, this pace can be overwhelming. The thing the Gators have to do, though, a better job of is boxing out. You cannot allow this pressure, this quick pace, to allow you not to be physical when the ball's being shot. You have to limit those offensive boards. And then Moore's left alone, and she missed it. Another offensive rebound. Tipped again. It's Stamper, third time no. And then a steal. What is happening here at Winston-Salem? Rodgers to the step back. Hits it. Smooth. Oh, oh, oh. Whitney Rogers is cooking. Rogers again active, and that's a turnover. This pressure is overwhelming right now for Cherokee. And the Gators, they need to regroup here. Maybe a timeout, something to slow down this pace. And Evan, I'll, I'll tell you, the skill, the execution from Cherokee is at a high level. But I made a point earlier about their conditioning. I mean, they are going all out, but there is no slowing down with their effort. A club that's won 28 straight games coming in. Stamper down low, forced it into a tight window. Still loose. Stamper again. Oh, my goodness. The freshman's on fire. 12 points. So skilled. Six foot two. Watch her work down low. Being physical and the focus there, the skill to knock it in. 
And Stamper completes the three-point play. Carolina Hurricanes free throw. Stay tuned for the Popeyes halftime report. Special interview with Q Tucker, the commissioner of the NCHSAA. First half highlights and more. Popeyes love that chicken. I love the play of Stamper. 12 and 10 in the first half for the freshman. That time she gets a block. A loose ball. Here is Mitchell hitting the jumper. And a nice end of the first half for East Columbus. Right now, though, it's all Cherokee up 18 for the first 16 minutes here in Winston-Salem. Impressive first half from Cherokee and Ian Gardner. And this fan base have to be ecstatic of how they played. It's still another half to go, but they've been playing fast. Up-tempo has paid off the first half of it. We're at halftime of the 1A Women's State Championship presented by West Shore Home. All Lady Braves early. We got plenty more from Winston-Salem. Hello, Miss Wilson. I'd be a happy camper. I'd never leave the beach, and I'd be good to go. Mom, North Carolina, just outside of Whiteville, near the Wilmington area here. And a wedgie has started our second half. Wasn't on my behind the basket. Where's the PVC pipe? There it is. Drum roll. Austin coach here. So this is actually a former Campbell Campbell player, DJ Mate, for Lake Wakama. He was an all-conference forward. Part of the staff for Coach Latoya Brown. Mason for getting us back to play. Oh, and that ball hit the face for a moment, and the Lady Braves take advantage with Swimmer. General final, another great game so far. Patrick spin, 40%, but the turnovers have made life difficult. Yeah, you you only, it's just getting opportunities, protecting the ball, so you give yourself a chance shooting guard. I think the biggest thing is, it's a frustrating first half, is just the second. That one rattles out. Good board for this. Patrick stepped out of bounds. What do you want to see in these first five? Really saying, hey, listen, we're going to lay it all out, win the first four minutes, give yourself a chance here because of your defense, trying to turn over. Turnovers themselves in the region final, but they've been forcing havoc in this one. No, Stamper's there again. 15 and 11 for the freshman forward. And it reads the ball off the rim. It looks. And Stamper is a true freshman. She has a chance to be special here in three. What her potential is. and. She's already really, really good, but she's on state titles in the triad. A forward who earned herself a scholar CC and at the high school level winning state championships. Pulling violation. Third quarter. She has grinded it out at the guard position. That's been the special for the Braves tonight. Their first three. It's a Meg Brown home for. They're adding to their scoring ability with a three-point shot. With Rod Handles from Arch. She gets it ahead. On board. And now the possession ends. The Brown It's been back and forth. I would definitely lose. <laughs> Your sophomore guard. <laughs> Three seniors on the roster. One starts in Arch. It's a young group. Yeah. The future. Oh, the hands of Swimmer. She's everywhere. Mm. A nose for the ball. Feels. And here's Swimmer with our CR legal fast team break. And, and here she creates a turnover, leads to a fast break up. Keep in mind, Swimmer had one steal in the region final. She's five tonight. Chance here for Riley Graham, swinging it around. Hines in head, and Loshi Ward, one of the seniors, puts it in. That's led to offense. Another steal. Sw Did Dia swim or have it? So much joy and passion. NCHSAA 1A state title. It's all Cherokee here. 988 is the number that can make a difference. It's a number to know suicide and crisis lifeline. Because you never know when you or someone you know. Don't miss our anniversary sale. Going on now at Mac Brown Home Furniture. Best prices on name brand furniture. Everything is on sale. We have a great select $99 sofa or a custom ordered luxury sectional. We have you covered. Hurry in for our anniversary sale. Mac Brown Home Furnishings just off 540. Just waiting for my pills. Uh, high blood pressure and cholesterol. Oh. That'll cost. Just go to the website. See if you qualify at medicaid.nc.gov. 
home crowd, fan base, rock concert, whatever you want to call it. Miles away and they feel interconnected with their club dominating up by Cherokee has not been to a state final since nine minutes away from locking up a title. It's been a while, but I'll tell you, this year has been, uh, I mean, they've just been steamrolling their opponents. And Bishop McGinnis had won back-to-back -back state titles. The Lady Braves went in the road. Huge upset win is the three seed. Now the Gators in. And a turnover for East Columbus. Pretty good Bishop McGinnis team. Yeah, that was a kind of marquee game. This game, but they found a way to win that one. And the 1A level, he gets three. And Arch is feeling it. Whitney Rogers that time for three. Rachel Fowler here on Swimmer. Was 45 points. Just ran through the conference. 10 and 0. In fact, in the playoffs, only two games we in here for Cherokee. And their lone loss. They have to go all the way back to December's. And they beat Mountain Heritage, which is a really good team by 13. <laughs> Able to hang on to that one. Patrick. Such east side of the bracket. The region final had a great win to get to this matchup. And this is the best season for East Columbus. 26 this season. And a good finish there for Patrick. For an easy two. I think as the moment starts to sink, it, it is a challenge when you're in a score like this. Is now Cherokee will sub out its starter. Look at this place. It's the rally towels of Pittsburgh, but the folks of Cherokee have come. Never play in front of thousands of your home faithful. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> in the support, and it's something that's so special for both teams. Cherokee, just a special opportunity that they have here today. Jemiah Johnson, they'll keep tabs on that injured. <laughs> Maybe the one area Cherokee has not dominated. They're good passing here. Down for Fort Killer Ravy. <laughs> Only three seniors on this late turnover. Bishop McGinnis, the two time state champs, they'll reload next. While we have a moment, the 988s, and we'll find that play of the game here in the fourth quarter. Here's an offensive. If you're Coach Latoya Brown right now, you want to see a little more heart from a unit in the yeah, second half. They got a box out there and finish off this ball game the right way. And this game isn't going their way, but they've they've got to continue to battle. And, and We're the freshman game. guard, or Shayla Collins, pardon me, gets fresh. A 40 point difference. The clock will run minus the end of the quarter. Tight games in this state tournament. It's been a dominant effort from the Lady Braves. I need to find what the bus turnover is. It just keeps coming. Halftime, there's been 10 more since, and the stats just keep piling up. So Kaylee Mitchell will enter. Here's a steal. Now a race for the ball. Team will be selecting the West Shore home player of the game. West Shore home, Bath, Romano. Double double tonight. Who's your pick? And drawing the foul there is Rogers. To the far right. Future star. Future star and team supporter. That'd be the best part. Carolina Hurricanes free throws here for at least the quarter break here with this 40 point difference. Okay, so that of uh, the state championship. Dominant effort from the Lady Bravens. NCHSAA state championships presented by West Shore Home. Affordable health care, relationships matter, is proud of the relationships we've built with you. Committed to improving the health and well-being of everyone according to you, all of you. Imagine an injury that teaches bike safety, gives away helmets, and provides cars. And as aggressive as we are about preventing accidents, we're that passionate about protecting them. When they do, trust CR Legal Team to stand up for you. CR
42 point game to start this fourth quarter. It's the 1A 40 point lead for a dominant Lady Braves program to reach this championship. All because of the activity defensively. They need to run for those of you watching at home. Albert here for East Columbus in the next seven minutes. Well, I, I just think for them that in the best possible way try to finish this fourth quarter with the win ending to this game. There's a foul on the Lady Braves away from the and Stamper her freshman teammate right there to get her on the same page. Freshman and will most likely win MVP of this championship. That is such a bright future for it. I just love how hard she plays. Hines the travel before the outlet pass. Points. That's next level defense. Well, their their defense. It's how well conditioned they are. They do not let up at all. There's... Hines has been excellent for e the sophomore. Watch. That one's off. Stamper the rebound. Not old enough to drive a car, but old enough to drive this offense tonight, Jay. <laughs> Did you see all the subs wanting to run in? They are already. <laughs> hey, walking stick and her compatriots over there, including you come in. The Riddle and Brantley free throws coming up. Time out here. Cherokee. State Championships. Cherokee on the verge of a title. If you got a court date comes, then he the one for you. If you need an attorney, CYA, call me. You need help. And don't know where to turn. Call, text, or chat 988. Or suicide and crisis lifeline. Learn it, know it, share it. Because you never know. Someone who cares and get to a better place. Call, text, or chat. Let's get through it together. Law officer dominating on the offense event. That's kind of the story forcing 29 turnovers in our peak. We invite you to bank better. Dominant fourth quarter showing here for Prince since 1998. And it's been all Cherokee in this one, Jay. I'm going to celebrate this victory with their community. The result's going to be hard to see, but. And after a fantastic debut at her first state final in the next three years in high school. Game. And more activity defensively. We saw you the 28 to this big of a lead. That speaks to the, the culture of Cherokee. For sure. I mean, when you're on the floor, is you're going out there put, performing at the highest level. And on back-to-back -back state titles until the Lady Braves went in to seed. Now everyone touching the ball and passing, but a travel. Cherokee rolled the rest of the playoffs. No game closer than 10 after that tight Bishop McGinn season's ever by record and score. Uh, this performance here in the final. Hines the other direction, no good. Gets her own board. Graham. Yeah, she's got a bright future. Uh, she's got versus Everyone touching the rock, and that's short. East Columbus, their best season in seven years. Such a cool moment. Desk Kaylee Mitchell, who we've touched on, will graduate. Good to see these to show up every way possible. That's a huge quote for her. And they're going to yeah. use to make the state championship after a special year. A great year give them that fuel in the offseason. A quick 30-second time. She's been coaching for 30 years. This might be her best team ever, especially on the high school ranks. Snapped a 26-year drought from the field. These are the moments that build character right here, Jack. Yeah, I mean, right now in the huddle, right way, giving them motivation. Tough result, but that doesn't mean you can't finish strong. A couple of new faces check in, including Emily Brady. Vaughn Sanuk, the sophomore. Justice counts. Hines misses the second for defense and a steal for East Columbus. The other way to see. 40 or more. So there's the three to put him over 40. That's the senior Loshi Ward with the three. Another three out. That's the exclamation point for his. It's your choice. Dadaya Swimmer with a nice performance. Uh, so many opportunities for players. Her effort on the defensive end. She was the catalyst, creating all relentless. And she's a skilled offensive player as well. Her vote for play of the game as well. Look at the embracing moment, hugging her senior. Lochas that has really rebuilt Cherokee basketball and Ann Garner's three years. 
Turkey two minutes away from wrapping up a near perfect season. 20. Final two minutes here. Fun to see all these young players get some minutes here late with the clock. 125 games in 2017, but could never get over the hump with Jan Garner. Now a late bucket. What about this style of play? It, it starts with the hustle. I mean, you can you can want to press and have the heart to come out there and do it on every possession. And that's what and it, it never slows down. So I like, you know, their discipline and the level of intensity that they play with. Free throw, and this could wrap things up. Up for Suli Losi. The senior the squad's battling till the end, and Destiny Mitchell with the three. A good look from. Now go out of bounds. The clock will continue to run here in a full. Night for the Cherokee Lady Braves, who are back at six. Party tonight, Cherokee. You've deserved this dominant one. In this moment, for the 1A state champs. Impressive victory and congratulations to both teams on and that was a, a performance that they'll be proud of play of the game Fantastic moment presented by Dias Swimmer Getting the steal and Forced over 30 turnovers they got the job done and uh as state champions. It's been since 96 a long time so first of all I think the thing that strikes me most is the heart. This, this crowd right here is uh, all the passion they need and uh, to lift us up all through the entire game. And the energy your team put, defensive pressure, that style suits you so well. Please, all the way up, and this group's played together since they were little, and they've just had goal. What does this group mean to you? Oh, they're special. I've never coached. Them. This is a big win. Now, how are you going to celebrate it? Oh, I don't know. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Co Nation. They've come out in by the thousands. We'll take a quick timeout in Carolina. This game is brought to you by West Shore Home, and we'll be back for the trophy presentation. At Riddle and Brantley, our day often starts before much of North Carolina, and the fight for justice is real. Our team is co If you've been hurt in an accident, call Riddle and Brantley and find out unless we win money for you. Riddle and Brantley, when just means having a healthy desire to do as another year, another fence slum. And options to keep you rehydrated and replenished. Welcome back to our final step, attorney. Those 30 turnovers for East Columbus, impressive and, and uh, dominant. Impressive as you can play in Cherokee. Showed their passion. They'll use this in the offseason to try to make another run next year. He ends up with the 74-32 win. Gives you a sense of 96. The town of Cherokee, the time is yours. Take it away. And now. Thank you. 
Fantastic moment for Cherokee, the 1A Women's Champion. Show her home, Popeyes, the North Dakota Department of Health and Human Services. Todd McIver, Piedmont Federal Bank, CR Legal, the Hurricanes, the championships possible for you guys at home. Dominant performance from the game and a great performance from Cherokee. Coming up tonight, our final game of Diddy for a fantastic finish. But for all of us here at Winston-Salem, we say good to the Lady Braves of Cherokee, your state champions.